right, good morning boys and girls. Indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and to be glad in it. We are super excited to be in the house of the Lord today. And I believe you're also excited to be here to enjoy the goodness of the Lord. And today, boys and girls, we want to start by reading together Psalms 34, verse 1. Can we do it together? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah!
Boys and girls, let's continue worshiping the Lord. Let's lift up our hands. Let's lift up our voices as we worship the Lord.
darkness. And Lord, because of that love, we now stand as people who are in the light. It's because of that love that we can stand today and declare and decree of how good you are to us. Father, thank you for your amazing love. It wasn't because of any good thing that we did to you that made it you love us this much, but it's because of your agape love, your unconditional love. That's why we are here today. Your word says while we were still dead in our sins, Jesus came and died for us. And this morning, Lord, we celebrate your love for us. Thank you, Father, for even the session ahead of us. As we get to hear your word, it is our prayer. The Lord will minister, you will speak to every one of us in the best way possible, oh God. We give you praise and honor and glory for this. In Jesus' name we pray and we do believe. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Boys and girls, it's been a good time lifting and praising the name of our God. I've liked the, the last song that we just sang about the excessiveness of the love of God, you know? You cannot count the love of God. You can count, you know, you can count mangoes, you can count sweets, you can count, you know, things that you can see, but you cannot count how big that love is. It's quite big. It's because of that love, boys and girls, that's why we're here today to celebrate what the Lord has done in our lives. Now, boys and girls, at that time, we want to hear the word of God. And before that, there are some of our children who've been preparing to share today's memory verse, and we'd like to give them that quality time to come and share the memory verse. And at home, I want us to put together our hands as they come to do that. has been done very, very, very well. You'll agree with me. And I want us to put our hands together and appreciate all our children who've just said the memory verse. <laughs> Thank you, children. I hope you're also enjoying watching this at home. Now, boys and girls, we want to remind ourselves what we learned last Sunday. Yeah? We want to remind ourselves what we learned last Sunday. And we have our two good friends who've always been reminding us what we've been learning. They're always keen. And so I want to move a little bit closer to them so that we can be reminded of what we learned. And I can see Baraka and Pendo. How are you, Baraka and Pendo? We, we are, are good. I can see, I can hear some good, some blessed, and that is a good thing. Good to see you guys. I uh, hope we've had a good week, right? Mm. Yes, we've had one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, from your faces, I can tell you've had a good time. And so, we want to go right to our today's questions. And allow me to start with this man in red, Mr. Baraka. Baraka, please remind boys and girls the topic of our last lesson. Teacher, it was about the goodness of God, you know, and the focus was on God is my helper. Yeah. We... Or my help comes from my God. <laughs> I, I like the way you're putting it. My help comes from God. And thank you, Baraka, for reminding boys and girls about the topic. And I want to go to my good friend Pendo. Pendo, please tell boys and girls this nice story 
that we learned last Sunday. Uh, teacher, it was the story of four leprous men. One day, they said if, were the, if they were to stay where they were, they will die of hunger. Hmm? If they were to go to the city, they will also die. But if they were to go to the Syrian army's camp, they may live. Yeah, yeah, or die. yes, 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 teacher. Mm. I remember that story too. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yes, Maraca. When this man started going to the enemy's camp, yes. Wow. God caused the army to hear the noise of a great, great army. You know, they were just four. But the enemy was hearing sounds of an army coming to fight them. So they ran away. They oh. left everything behind in their tents. And the four leprous men went and carried everything. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's true. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you, you Pendo and Baraka are just amazing. You put the story exactly the way teacher had taught it. I, I think next time I should give Pendo and Baraka to come and teach us the lesson. Thank you, oh, Pendo and Baraka, for giving such a... I mean, you've put it so clearly. And of course, boys and girls, always, whenever we learn a Bible story, we must have a reason as to why we are learning that. And so I will ask my good friend Pendo to tell us the meaning of this story, Pendo. Uh, the story teaches us that God helped these four leprous men to chase away such a big army. And so our help should always come from God. And that is the goodness of the Lord. Yes, Pendo, thank you for that. Boys and girls, these four leprous men were able to chase such a big, big, big army. And no, I like what Baraka said when they started moving, God caused, you know. There is a way God can cause, and that's the help that we are talking about today. So thank you, Baraka and Pendo, for helping boys and girls to learn the lesson. So I want to allow you to go back to your seats, to sit still on the chair and listen to what teacher has today for us. So thank you very much, Atom. Let's appreciate Pendo and Baraka for helping us to remember today's lesson. So you can go back and sit. Now, boys and girls, we've done the goodness of the Lord for quite a number of weeks. And by now, I believe we are full of the goodness of the Lord. I can boldly say that. We are full of the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord is very much inside of us. I know by now you know quite a number of topics that we've covered. We've covered Jesus is my friend. We said something like the rising. What else did we say? I mean, for those who've been taking notes, there is quite a lot that we have learned about the goodness of the Lord. Now, today, boys and girls, we shall still continue with the goodness of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord. But today, you know what? We want to take it further. Like I say, we cannot exhaust uh, the goodness of the Lord. We cannot finish it because it is too big. It is quite quite, quite big. And now, today I want us to focus on God's goodness through healing. Did you hear me? God's goodness through healing. You heard me. When someone is sick, he cannot be able to, for those who are in school, they cannot be able to understand well, you know, what teacher is saying. You can imagine if you're having some headache or you're having some, you know, stomach is feeling funny, you cannot be able to understand 
what teacher is saying because you're not quite comfortable. For those who are working, if you're feeling bad somewhere in your body, you cannot be able to fully do your duties. Why? Because one bit of your body, one part of your body is not feeling well. Like I've said today, we are focusing on God's goodness through healing. And to help me to rather teach or preach today is my good friend Israel. And I want to call Israel. Israel, good to see you. How are you? Fine. Of course, he doesn't have microphone, little microphone like I do. He has said fine. And uh, one thing I like about Israel is... Uh, He's a reader. Israel can read a number of books and he doesn't get tired. There's no single word that can disturb Israel, right? Yes, he has agreed. He can read anything. He is a reader. And so today, Israel will not call you Israel. We want to call you a super reader. Boys and girls, we want to call him a super reader because he reads quite a lot. Now, boys and girls, I know he reads, and just like boys and girls at home, you like reading. And so, I want to do something. I want to test uh, Israel. You like this color? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> All right. Don't you worry. So, I want to cover his eyes you know he's able to read he's able to read like I've said he's a super reader so I want to cover your eyes right don't worry I will make sure that I leave some space for you to breathe uh, can someone take a photo here because this good friend of mine Israel is looking super wonderful. Okay, Israel, don't you worry. I'll remove this thing in a few. Okay, now Israel is a super reader. He can read anything. Now, as you can see, I've covered quite a big space of his eyes. And boys and girls, as you can see, I want to see if he can read. He's a super reader. Israel, are you a super reader? You can read anything, right? He says, yeah, he can read anything. I want to show you something, Israel. Boys and girls at home, don't shout what is here. You can read, right? Can you read this at home? Okay. Now, Israel, I've turned this piece of paper. It is right on your face. I want, you're a super reader. Prove to boys and girls that you can, you can, you can read. You can read what I am holding. Boys and girls, you can see he's, he's trying to read. He's trying to read this. Read. You're a super reader. Read. I can't see a thing. That's what is super reader is saying. I can't see a thing. Now, I want to give you something that is better. It doesn't have much of stories. Boys and girls, can you read? Don't shout because super reader, I want to hear. Can you see this, boys and girls at home? Now, super reader, this is another. Don't remove my thing. Okay. So, can you read this? No. Why? You're a super reader. Read. You are a super reader. Read. Uh, Let me bring it a little bit closer. Super reader, read. I can't it is right on your eyes. Read, super reader. I can't super reader. Teacher Ant is not happy. Because... Boys and girls know you as a super reader. Now, don't you worry. Let me remove this thing. OK. 
Okay. So that is yours. Now, I want you to see. Boys and girls, can we read this? What does it read? Okay, super reader, read. You are special. You are special. I told you, you can read anything. And this one? Okay, you can read. Mark 10 for the deaf to get the test, the blind but the must. The blind but must. Thank you, super reader. You can go and have your seat. Now, boys and girls, today we want to focus on... Uh, topic. I've already told you the topic, but we want to focus on a story of a blind Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was known because of his blindness. He could not see, he could not read, he could not do anything with his eyes. And one time, boys and girls, you know, he was just seated at his usual spot, you know, asking for people to come and help him, you know, with some um, money so that he can buy some food and some cloth and that kind of stuff. And of course it happened for quite a number of days. You know, he could not do anything for himself. He had to get help from people. And so he would wake up in the morning. I believe some people would help him to go to his usual spot for people to help him get something to buy something you know, for eating, you know, drinking, and that kind of a thing. Now, one time, Jesus, can you shout Jesus? Jesus, with his disciples and quite a number of people, they were following him. You know, they're following Jesus. The Bible says, as they were coming out of Jericho, okay, as they were coming out of Jericho, boys and girls, they meet this person, blind, blind but Myers, who was there, you know, asking for people to come and help him. Now, as he was seated there, you know, he could hear quite a number of people passing that route. And of course, he must have asked, who are these people? And I, I, I think one of the person might have told him, well, it is Jesus of Nazareth. And of course, he must have heard some good things about Jesus of Nazareth. Some of the things that I believe he must have heard about Jesus was Jesus heals people. Jesus does what? He feeds people, you know, with just some little few breaks. He can feed quite a number of people. He can raise people who are dead. And when he heard it was Jesus with his disciples, he started shouting, Hey, Jesus! Son of David, have mercy on me. He shouted and shouted and shouted. Guess what, boys and girls? People came and told him, Hey, you blind man, stop making noise to the master. Don't shout. But the more they told him to shout, he kept on shouting, Hey, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And he went on shouting and shouting and shouting. And of course, Jesus heard his name being called by this blind but must. Remember, today's message is about what? Can you remember what we're learning today? God's goodness through what? Through healing, boys and girls. And so Jesus said, I can hear my name. Someone is calling me. And the Bible says Jesus stood still. Jesus stood still. And you know what? Those people who are telling Jesus, I mean, those who are telling blind but mice to keep quiet, you know, had also to stand still. And Jesus called for blind but mice to come. And you know, these people who were stopping blind but mice to say anything, they went and told him, hey, hey, cheer up. The master is calling you. You can come. And, you know, blind but mice threw his jacket, you know, he, he threw his garment and he went. I don't know how he went, but I believe those people must have helped him to go to where Jesus was. And he went and, you know, he met Jesus there. I would think that was his first time to meet Jesus. And when Jesus saw him, 
the Bible says, he answered him, what can I do for you? And this blind but mass, do you think he said, I want to have some money? No, he didn't say, I want money. The problem of Batmaius was not money. He did not say, I want some food for my family this evening. No. He didn't say, I want some, uh, some, uh, some chocolate, some sweet. No. He told Jesus, I want my sight back. I want to see again. And you know what? Jesus told him, go on your way, and according to your faith, you are already healed. And but Mars immediately, you know, he saw, he could see people. He could see people. He was excited. He could see Jesus for the first time, you know. He could see mountains and hills. He could see trees. He could see flowers. He could see boys and girls who are following Jesus. He was excited. Do you think he was just quiet? No. He was excited. I, I, I'm just trying to imagine. Probably he jumped and, and praised God because he can now see. He can now see people. I, I, I believe he was super, super excited because he could see again boys and girls. You know what? Today's message is about God's goodness through healing. Now, boys and girls, you know what? You don't have to carry some, some sickness with you. Yeah, you don't have to carry some sickness with you. You know, if someone is blind, it simply means he, can watch, he cannot watch. He cannot watch movies. We like watching super bricks, right? Those cartoons, nice cartoons. It means that you cannot see the mountains. You cannot see the hills. You cannot see the face of your good friends. Why? Because you are blind. Just like the blind but mice. Now, boys and girls, today we want to celebrate the goodness of God through healing. You don't have to carry some funny diseases, you know, be it coughing, be it sneezing, be it whatever kind of sickness it is you better tell that sickness you can go away i'm a child of god jesus died for me and he healed my body i can stand strong because jesus has healed me next time you meet your friend and tells you he is sick what are you going to tell them you don't have to be sick jesus paid the price for you for you to be whole that blind but mice People tried to stop him. When people tried to stop him, did he sit down and, you know, enjoyed his blindness? No. He continued shouting the name of Jesus and he got healed. Today's word is reminding us that Jesus has given us our healing. And that is one area of goodness we can celebrate because God has given that to us freely. We can enjoy that healing because it is our blessing. Now, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you so that you can walk with that boldness and courage. Boldness and courage. Knowing that you don't have to carry any sickness. Corona is not an issue here because Jesus dealt with that thing so many years ago. You don't have to fear people will give you corona. No, 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 no. You are already the heel of the Lord, just like that blind but mice who received his healing when Jesus passed on his way. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this wonderful day that you've given us. You've reminded us that there is healing power that was brought by, Je by, by Jesus at Calvary. And today we celebrate this area of Jesus' goodness, God's goodness, healing in our bodies. And we cast away every fever, every, every coughing, whatever kind of a thing that is not coming from God. We command it right now in the name of Jesus. Go and never come back again. 
because we were already healed of God more than 2,000 years ago. We give you praise and we give you glory for it's in Jesus' name we pray and we do believe. Amen, 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 amen. Boys and girls, thank you very much for taking your time to listen to today's word. Let's be reminded to give God's tithe. Yes, God's tithe. It is 10% of everything that comes on our way. Be it money, be it whatever comes on your way, 10% of it belongs to God. Our moms and our daddies will help us to do that. Secondly, boys and girls, it's about the activities that our teachers have posted in our church website. Encourage your mom and your dad to log in this week. What you've learned today will become more real when you get to do those assignments this week. There are video clips that you can watch that can help you to understand well what we have learned today, the story of blind but mice. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward next week to minister to you again and not only that but also to hear your testimonies of how the Lord has healed you. May God bless you and see you next week boys and girls. Thank you very much. Come away with one.